Dear participants, ladies and gentlemen, it is always a pleasure for me to attend the TRP World Forum. I found this year's concepts, such as power and products, and grand strategy quite relevant. Since the time of uh, Thucydides, power has been central to international relations. The realist school of international relations in particular is obsessed with power. And there are many other currents that have criticized this. The definition of grand strategy is also expanding beyond one aspect of power that is hard power to include several aspects such as diplomatic, economic and even culture. There is no need to be naive. It is difficult to achieve objectives without a certain degree of power. In the Turkish case, without our increased national power over the last two decades, it would have been impossible to become a regional player and globally respected actor. So the question is not about the necessity of power. It is about the nature of the power. If others respect you out of fear, this is not sustainable. But if you gain respect with your power of attraction, this will be long lasting. Our understanding of power doesn't place a hard power at the center. Cooperation, solidarity and justice are indispensable parts of our own identity and civilization. Our ancestors rule by justice and gain respect through winning hearts and minds. Therefore, in our understanding, power should be uh, compassionate, smart, and legitimate. Indeed, power must be compassionate. The more powerful you are, the more responsible you should be. That is why we define our foreign policy as humanitarian. That is why we are not the richest, but the most generous country in terms of humanitarian aid. Second, we utilize smart power in our uh, grand strategy. We combine soft and hard power elements in a smart way. That is why we define uh, our foreign policy as uh, enterprising as well. Because we believe that a proactive foreign policy, not a reactive one, is required to respond uh, to challenges. From Somalia to Afghanistan, we are part of the solution. We use hard power only when other options are exhausted and only to initiate dialogue and diplomacy. This is what we do to resolve frozen conflicts, de-escalate tensions, and protect our national interests. Our presence in Syria and Libya led to stability on the ground, prevented irregular migration and terrorism, and paved the way for diplomacy. In Afghanistan, we also helped stabilize uh, the country and build national capacity for two decades. Our current diplomatic presence and gradual engagement with the Taliban allows us to give the right messages. During Azerbaijan's fight to liberate its occupied territories, we firmly stood by our brothers. But once the armed conflict was over, we developed ideas to achieve lasting uh, peace. In the Eastern Mediterranean, we acted to make it clear that our sovereignty and legitimate rights are not negotiable. At the same time, President Erdogan called for an inclusive ISMET conference. Third, power needs to be just and legitimate. Power shouldn't be an end in itself. It should be a tool to achieve a greater good. For us, the greater good means uh, justice for everyone. That is why President Erdogan called for a fair award at the United Nations General Assembly. Today, we are not immune to other suffering anymore. So working towards a fairer world is uh, not just a moral obligation, but a must for a safer and more stable world. Dear friends, ladies and gentlemen, in global politics, the world is more fragmented. Yet people uh, and the global economy are more connected than ever. 
these two realities may seem uh, paradoxical. But at the same time, this contradiction presents an opportunity for uh, practitioners of international diplomacy. We can use our economic and social connectivity to fix uh, political fragmentation. This is part of our vision for a fairer world and a goal of our humanitarian and enterprising foreign policy. Therefore, Turkey promotes effective multilateralism and a rules-based international system which uh, would make uh, power a force for good. We refuse to accept international relations as a zero-sum game. Global challenges such as climate change, irregular migration, terrorism, and rising inequalities uh, all require a collective response. We must share the burden and act as responsible actors. Dear participants, ladies and gentlemen, a successful foreign policy requires inputs from several stakeholders. Let me thank TRT for opening this platform to different voices and opinions. We need different perspectives and innovative approaches. We initiated Antalya Diplomacy Forum with this vision. I'm grateful to TRT World for their great input to ADF. Leaders, ministers, academics, journalists, and youngsters came together and discussed how we can adapt diplomacy uh, to the new era. Next year, in March, uh, we hope to extend the forum's reach and its impact to discuss similar concepts while keeping diplomacy at the center. I hope to see you all at the second Antalya Diplomacy Forum. Thank you.